One of its kind exhibit wild Washingtonians and tourists at the National Museum of African Art, which is part of the Smithsonian Institution. Our Caroline Turner takes us on a tour. Earth matters, land as material and metaphor in the arts of Africa. It is the first major exhibition exploring the ways African artists and communities relate to the land where they live and work. The exhibition brings together approximately 100 works of art from the turn of the 19th century to the present. It is divided into five thematic sections. The material earth, power of the earth, imagining the underground, strategies of the subsurface, and art as environmental action. Curator Karen Milborn conducted a tour. It's much more about how each of us, each every individual, how we form our own lives, how we form our collective communities, how we come together is all based on how we relate to the land beneath our feet. The ambassador of Gabon says it was important to sponsor the exhibit. It's our commitment to fight uh, climate change and our conservation efforts. As you all know, Gabon has set aside about 20% of its land mass for natural reserves and natural and parks. So our commitment to earth, to protecting the environment and to conservation led us to be part of this exhibit. The exhibition includes works by 40 internationally recognized and emerging contemporary artists from Africa and the diaspora who draw on the land for inspiration. Cast your eyes on a one-of-a-kind Punu reliquary from Gabon and a Zugo pear healing figure from Tanzania. A separate sculpture by South African artist Liddell Moe is on display outside the entrance. So working with the soil of Africa, she has put it into a new form that has this boulder-like feeling, this sense of permanence that actually conveys the landscape of the Karoo, the landscape between Cape Town and Durban. And what you see on it are these wonderful little figures that move like birds flying across a landscape or the rivers, waters as it flows through the landscape. And it speaks to her personal history and human migration in general. To create his Fall and Spill History series, Nigerian artist Jerry Belhari says he was inspired by the fall colors in Vermont. I am trying to make a commentary about the way the human being engages the planet Earth. In my humble submission, I am saying that over time, the modern man would take out of the planet or out of his environment more than he gives. So he, over time, has been destroying, has been engaged in a destructive activity. The work titled Kamusa is composed of 99 compressed plastic bags arranged in the order of a Muslim prayer rosary. The artist, Younes Ramoun of Morocco, explains. I compress plastic bags so they don't fly off on a windy day, basically giving an aesthetic look to plastic, which generally pollute the environment in Morocco and around the world. So my work is comprised of three different horizontal lines and vertical high, inspired by the movement in the Muslim prayer. In every line there are 99 plastic bags, like the Muslim prayer beads. It's also recalled Arabic calligraphy, which is written from left to right. An artist from Gabon, Awanto, explains her work titled, Where Are We Going? Well, I think we're all in the same road. And I, it's, I, what I did uh, in that piece is intervene in different landscapes. There is a series of different photographs uh, who are uh, representing different places in the world. Some are and that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.